All right, hey guys, welcome back to um, Metroid Prime 2. Last time we uh, we restored the energy to the Dark Torvus, and yeah, we we started energy to, to Torvus, not Dark Torvus. Why we want to restore the energy to, to Dark Torvus? <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, and, and we also got the Dark Visor, and now we have given our next our next uh. Our next objective is to restore the energy in into the sanctuary fortress. So we're that's where we're gonna head right now. Uh excuse you. But yeah, in the last we also uh We have also I don't know if it, <laughs> Brain, can you please work? My brain can, it doesn't work apparently. Yeah, we we got the dark visor, so there are there are actually a couple of things we can go grab if we want. There's actually well, uh, let's see. Yeah, well, we'll actually come back for that. We do, we we can we yeah we there's one thing I want to originally want to grab, but decide nah, we can get it later. Anyways, uh, you know what to head to the Sanctuary Fortress. We need to head back he to this elevator, which, which if you might remember from all the way back near the beginning of the playthrough, this is, is the original elevator we came up to, to the Great Temple. Yeah, this is the original elevator. The OGs, man. Good. This is the OGs. Oh, and Great War Wasps. I hate all of you. Now... As you can see, there is a... Uh... As you can see, there is a... Uh, a dark portal over there now I'm trying to remember what if there's anything we can actually get to in that dark portal right now uh I don't think so actually there's nothing we can do in that in the dark world for now so you know what so yeah we're just gonna go we're just gonna ignore that dark portal even though we could go inside but there's nothing for us in there at the moment so we're just gonna go move on now here, if you remember, for all the way back from from near the start, there is there is, we we dropped down from there, but we couldn't get back up because if if we look at it, scans indicate the presence of a control system, interface method unknown, control units not present in visible spectrum or current time space. Now if we see that the the solution, what we have to do is we gotta use the dark visor, to that way we can see the control units, and then what we got do is just fire seeker miss just fire seeker missile at the control units and that should open the and it should open the door or open the platform rather and yep that's it and that's that's how we get back across now hey guys we're back we're finally back at the gf F, at the gf compound oh there's space pirates here space pirates are here Apparently. What are y'all doing here? Space pirates are out here raiding the raiding the GF compound. How dare you guys? The one more pirate. He's here somewhere. Where is he? There he is. Rude space pirates. Anyways, power bomb door that we still can't open. Not yet, anyways. But, there is... But, hey, we're finally... We finally made it back to the... We finally, we finally come back to the GF compound. Where the GF ship is. 
And and there and there's an item that we can finally gra grab if we if we're good enough if we're skilled enough because we do, this requires either the space jump if we're we need the space jump for this you, ju you just jump on top of the ship and because back here there is a missile expansion which there is an I believe it, at least I don't know if you can in the trilogy version but in the original like GameCube version there was like a a trick there was like Pretty much a glitch or something you could exploit in order to get up here without the space jump. But yeah. The scan jump. That's like the scan jump glitch. That you could exploit. But anyways, uh, yeah. But uh, I don't know. I don't even know if it's in the trilogy version. I don't, I don't even know how to do it anyways. So yeah, we, we just came back here once we have the space jump. And now, what we want to do is want to head over to that translator door. I don't believe there's anything for us in this. If we go back. Nah. So, we are just going to move forward through this uh, translator door. You did lose a bit of health to your space pirates. Because I, I wasn't really... Uh, Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, moving on. We can move. We're just gonna move on to uh, to this door. Beyond this door, the path to the sanctuary cliffs lies. Once a place of peaceful residence, now a fortress for those who make war. May it find tranquility once more. Yeah, it rhymes. Let's go. Now over there, there is a turret that does not like us. <laughs> There's a turret. Luminoth turret. Automated heavy defense system. Oops, wrong button. Heavy beam weapon system of Luminoth design. Evade its fire with quick movement. As the number of Luminoth warriors dwindled, they turned to machines to protect key areas. Automated gun turrets were often the first line of defense against inked attacks. Though powerful, they weren't nimble enough to deal with agile enemy targets. Yeah, those the the turret seems to seems to not uh, seems to think we're hostile. But you know, we we're helping the Luminoth tur turret. Anyways, yeah, th there's turrets. My turret. And there is another turret over here. Yeah, two charge shots will take down a turret. Now, ah, my eyes. There's an interesting light beam here, which uh, that will be significant later. There's some lore here. Second phase, the Sky Temple. We learned that the ruler of the Ing dwelled in a place dubbed the Sky Temple by our forces. This place held the planetary energy of Dark Aether as well. It was heavily guarded, and the entry was barred by a great gate requiring 10 keys to unlock. These keys were hidden throughout Dark Aether by the Ing. A mission was planned, one that would find the hidden keys and recover our missing energy from the Sky Temple. Actually, I want, I need, I want to check real quick. Do, do I, make, I, I make sure I want to, I'm actually caught up on the, all the lore. Uh, conflict. First phase, yeah, we're good on first phase. Three, yep, we're okay. Yep, we're all caught up on the lore. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any, because you know that juicy, juicy lore. Anyways, this is the the elevator. Access a sanctuary fortress granted. Yep. And this elevator takes us to the Sanctuary Fortress. For some reason, it goes down, even though the Sanctuary Fortress is supposed to be high up in the cliffs. But for some reason, the elevator goes down. Oh, god damn it. it and my and my thing is doing it's doing that thing again. Cool. I'm gonna have a squish screen for a bit until I find a save point. Yay, I love... I love uh, glitches. That's this guy's... Luminoth subject expired 1.4 deca cycles ago. 
No evidence of Ing possession present. Wounds on subject were of Luminoth origin, not Ing. Traces of machine fluid did suggest an attack by a mechanoid. Luminoth expired subject expired 1.4 deca cycles ago. Fatal wounds on subject appear to have been caused by Luminoth heavy weapon systems. This is Satraf E. Bitter, founder of the Sanctuary. Of Sanctuary, he lived for nearly five centicycles and died in hand-to-hand -hand combat during the first Ing attacks. Damn, he was old. Luminoth security sensor array. Array is online transmitting data. Data feed appears to be compromised. It's possible that the enemy is using this array. All right. Well, we're going to have to live with the squish screen for a little bit. I apologize. Anyways. Moving on. Oh, there's some turrets over there. I missed it, didn't I? One turret down. Turret to down. Security ring is locked down and active. You may be able to access the control system to move into open position. Like this control system right here. Security panel hacked. Ring control system engaged. Moving ring to open position. It is now open. Some spinning rings. Target's power, power generation system. Appears to be a massive electro dynamo wheel. wheel. Unit is locked in auto run cycle. There's these things on the wall. Serenity class drone. Independent maintenance unit. Roving mechanoid assigned to cleaning duties. Unit is unarmed and unarmored. Serenity drones have not gone rogue. The units have are defenseless, have no weapons, and cannot be eaten. These qualities make them useless to the Ing. So the small drones are assigned simple maintenance tasks upon creation and perform them without hesitation until reassigned or destroyed. Oh look at these tiny drones, they're just doing their own thing. We're not gonna we're just gonna uh, we're, we're just gonna leave them alone. And there's another there's another control ring, this is security ring, which is actually powered by a spinner this time. So we're just gonna use the spinner. And move forward. Welcome to the Sanctuary Fortress. Look how techno this 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 music sounds. Sanctuary Fortress. Listen to that techno oh music though. A spider ball track here. Luminoth tech crate. Ultra secure lock systems destroy them to discover contents. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, this place is not just like uh, 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 an old fortress in the cliffs. This is a high tech fortress right here. Oh, and the space pirates. Ah, damn it. They have shields. Alright, I'm just gonna use the dark beam. Why not? Can you stop with your shield? One behind? Behind? Bruh. I'm just gonna freeze him with a dark beam and then... Oh god, I just stood right next to a phase-on container and blew it. I just blew up a phase-on co container when I was right next to it. Is that all of them? No, there's still one more. 
Are these normal guys or no, no, these are commandos. Bruh. And they're down. We can move on now. Wall section is structurally unsound. Heavy cannon damage may damage it. Manual scan target. Scanning object from close range. We'll just go grab some dark ammo to replace the the one the, the the ammo I used up. All right, cool. You are good on on ammo, pretty much. Watch the phase on containers. No, I didn't want to. Didn't want to use the light beam. Let me just grab some health. All right, I guess we're good for now. Yes, yeah, I'm getting like nothing. This is wall here or thing panel. Look, this is grub night and denzium. Well, we don't have, uh, well, you know, denzium, um, which you know we don't, we can't break yet. So it's gonna move on. There's these weird things, octopede, rogue delivery drone, lightly armored, disrupted units can explode in self-defense. The Octopedes are created to deliver data to Luminoth citizens. They now follow their roots in service of other rogue mechanoids. The, uni the units are designed to self-destruct if attacked, and will explode with enough force to cause damage. Yeah, so watch out for them. They, they, they self-destruct. Yeah, watch out. They're going to self-destruct. Self-destruct, self-destruct. I missed. Look out. Object analysis complete. Target is part of a light energy processing system. Power from these globes is transferred to other parts of the fortress complex. Perfect local access to energy stores. Alright, anyways, just we're just gonna move on. Okay, and in here, up there, there is the control system that's not present in local time space. These things, target mechanoids are, uh, it is an in, in, uh, inactive combat drone. Units offline in power conservation mode. No command signals are being received. Combat systems online, defense grid not, uh. There's some weird, interesting defense drones. Anyways, uh, we're just gonna open this door using d Dark Visor Seeker Missiles. And there's these weird things. This is a Resbit. Rogue Patrol Drone. Variable beam cannon and digital virus de delivery system makes target very dangerous. Barrier shield and phasing power help protect it from damage. The Resbit, though small, is a tough opponent. Its weapon system is potent, capable of firing bursts or beams at targets. A barrier shield blocks incoming attacks. It can also shift to an energy state to evade enemies. While in this state, it can transmit a powerful virus into mechanoids and armor systems. The virus can cripple your systems for a time, leaving you vulnerable. Yeah, so...
So it's thinking about this res bit. I'm just you can just watch this attack right here. It goes into this energy state, and it releases a pulse that pretty much just shuts down all your armor systems. So you have to reboot. Press those buttons to reboot. Yeah, it leaves you completely vulnerable. That attack leaves you completely vulnerable. But if you if you hit it bef before it completes the attack. If you yeah, if you manage to hit it before it completes the attack, it will it you get it, you will it will disrupt the attack. So yeah, interesting little things. And by the way, uh, the lag when the lag when you see when when it you probably see like it, it, it like freezing, it's free locking up and freezing. You see things like freezing and locking up while the virus is in effect. Yeah, that is not part. Of, that's not not just my, that's not my game lagging. That's actually part of the game. And your your visor like like doesn't your, your visor just like lags, so interesting. Anyways, uh, moving on. Over here, there is an interesting thing. These are quads. They're actually made of composed of two parts. The quad MB. Rogue combat drone. Main body specializes in close combat. Lower venting system can can be damaged by concussive attacks. Boost attack can disrupt its vortex spin. A quad is formed of two components: the quadruped main body and the flying command module. These units can function independently or link together as the need arises. The main body uses melee attacks in battle. Though durable, it needs to vent excess heat from its body. When this happens, it exposes a venting system vulnerable to concussive attacks. And we can scan the head. <laughs> Quad CM. Command module re relies on ranged attacks. Beam shield can be breached by opposite polarity systems. A quad is formed of two components. The quadruped main body and the flying command module. Yep. Command module re relies on ranged beam attacks. It can generate a powerful beam shield to protect itself. Opposite polarity beams can penetrate the shield, however. So the best the, the best way to deal with these things, first of all, get away from me. That is not the best way to deal with those things. That was not the best way to deal with those things. Uh, yeah, but the best way to deal with thing, those things is to kill the head first. Is to yeah, hit the head first. That is the quick. That is that is what you want to do. Use, the best way is just fire, just use a super missile, destroy the head. And then that'll pretty much just leave the they'll leave it headless, pretty much. And also, there's another res bit in here. See the best and the best way to deal with a res bit is fire a charged dark beam. It'll freeze, and then you can just shatter it with a missile. Over here, there is a uh, there is a, a a new door with a blue hologram, which that's our, the first time we've seen those. We've seen that. We cannot access it right now. Reactor maintenance system. Server mechanisms continue to function despite a lack of supplies. Radiation levels have not crippled the units, but continual exposure will eventually lead to a decline in efficiency and, and ultimately shut down. Uh, we're just going to head this way for right now. Oh yeah, if, if you have, but if, if it does its spinning attack, you can, if the quad you does its spinning attack, you can boost into it to disrupt it, which will lead to it uh, exposing its, its leg weak point if you destroy the legs first the head will float off and activate its shield system which then you have to use the opposite beams in in order to uh penetrate anyway there is a save station here we're just gonna save i'm gonna save and then and i'm gonna reset the re reset at the 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 game to fix <laughs> to fix this uh squish screen Actually, I might also be able to just fix it, fix it in editing, but uh, 
we'll be fine. Which actually, you know, I might actually just fix this squish screen editing, but I'm still go I am still gonna like reset it for my sake. So yeah. Okay, got it fixed. So let's just move on. Those enemies have probably respawned, especially the res bits. I don't think the quad respawned though. No, just the res bits. Gonna freeze it. Shatter. Um, gonna hop up. Yep, just freeze it with dark beam and shatter it. Down there. Reactor control system. Units offline. Reactor er, operations are automatic function. Unable to access security codes. System will remain online. Anyway, down there is a kinetic orb cannon, but there's nothing we can do about it right now. Oh, we tr we've uh, angered that res bit. Where is he? He's up there. Just gonna hop up over to him. Dude, calm down. Haven't even gotten to your level yet. There, freeze him. And shatter him. Easy. Over there, there is a... Uh... Over there, there's the power bomb door, which we cannot up, up open yet. So the only way we can go really go right now is just to, we can just move on towards this blue door. Simple maintenance unit, program routine task. It still functions despite several decade cycles of service. Now, if you look in this thing, <laughs> gyroscopic ring. Part of an energy production system has been running the same process for approximately 30 cycles. Appears to be in automated mode. Manual bypass mode may be used to override function. So we have to manually override. We, we need to stop this thing from spinning in, if, in order to get through. Now, if we can scan this terminal. Gyroscopic system engaged. Safety systems online. Safety lockdown code is as follows. Amber, cobalt, crimson, emerald. So remember that code. We need, we need to remember that code. So, amber, cobalt, crimson, emerald, I believe. <laughs> oh no, yeah, don't don't touch it. Don't touch that that spinning rings. So amber, cobalt, crimson, emerald. So what we want to do is hit the hit the hit the, hit the bomb slots in that order. Amber, cobalt, which means blue. Crimson. Red and emerald green. Yeah, you better know your colors. And there we go. That's shut down the system and allowing us to, to safely move across. System has been shut down. And now we can move forward. Another weird, another uh, combat drone. There's some quads in here, which we're gonna go deal with real quick. This time we're gonna do it the it the correct way. We're just gonna take out, out the head first. The legs can still work though because you've got legs for days. You have to wait for it to like do an attack like this. And we can just boost into its weak point and it dies. If it does its vortex attack, it just boosts right into the vortex. Warning, Wii Remote batteries are low. Yes, I know that. My Wii Remote will probably die. Come at me, bro. And it's down. 
There are some like inactive like legs here, but they're not gonna come online unless there's a head. There's a head to help them. There's a head to like activate them. They won't they won't activate unless there's a head. There's a floating head somewhere. The head will try to like attach itself to the to the legs. So yeah. Anyways, uh nothing else we can do in this room for now, so moving on. Now this tunnel composed of, of various alloys including Denzium. Exposure to portal portal energies have weakened the structure considerably. A lot that we need that we need to break it take that that uh, this tunnel sometime. But we can't yet, so we the only way we can go is through this uh, portal. We're just gonna head through the dark portal to over to Dark Aether, the Dark Aether version of Sanctuary Fortress. Which is in, which is actually called the Ing Hive, interestingly, which implies that this is where this is the Ing's main base. Uh, we can move over to this side for now, which there's only one thing we can do over in this side. There is there is an Ingworm cache, living storage units, which you know they they just there's item boxes, which uh. It can look this thing. This is a dark talon Metroid. This is a Metroid. This, it looks nothing like a, a, a normal Metroid, but it, cause it's uh, it's be it's it's been corrupt. It's been corrupted, but it's been you know possessed by the Ing. Dark talon Metroid. Darkling possess energy parasite. Symbiote makes target stronger in battle. Vulnerable to concussive blasts. Dislikes bright light. You can see this thing. As you can see, it looks nothing like a normal Metroid. It's other than you know, it's just it's just floating with its fangs. The Ing are fascinated by Metroids and their connection to Phazon. It is not a shared fascination, as Metroids will attack Ing on sight. Recognizing their strength, Ing Darklings have possessed a number of Metroids, turning them into powerful soldiers of the Horde. Despite you know, the description saying Ing they they are weak to bright light, the best way is still just. Just freeze them with the dark beam and then take them out. Over the here, dark diligence drone. Darkling possess maintenance unit. Unit gains strength from Ing symbiote. A high powered burst of light energy can damage it. Some diligence drones have been taken by the Ing for possession duties. Their small size and durability makes them excellent scouts, able to go where most others cannot. A dark diligence still relies on focused energy beams for defense. Their energy construct nature makes them invulnerable to most attacks. A high powered burst of light energy can disrupt a dark diligence unit. So yeah, just like means you need to use a charged light beam. And and that we can just come in here to grab us a missile expansion. Yep. And that's all that's in here, really. A, a Dark Talon Metroid, two Dark Diligence drones, and and Missile Expansion. I can see in there, there is a... Over there, there is already... We can already see a, a Hive Temple key. It's, you know, the key that we need for the Dark Temple on for the dark temple so at sanctuary fortress over there is there is a warrior ink oh come on you can still fire that while you're dying there's a warrior ink anyway there's some ink here you can just quickly take them out No.
Anyways, uh... Can you not? Make up? Are you gonna come up or not? Alright, Aang. I don't think there's... I don't think we can actually go this way yet. I, I don't believe. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Can we go this way yet? No, we cannot. So this, the only way we can go is back through here. Back is through that dark door. So we're just going to move on that way. Yep, we can only go through this way. Which is, there's an elevator. Elevator online. I'm just gonna grab some light ammo real quick. Or, you know, not that much light ammo because they don't want to give me any. Just gonna take the elevator. Take the elevator. It's quicker. And we're just going to move forward. Through this area, which uh, there's a grapple point sur just surrounded by night barbs. Which actually, I think we might be able to just do some seeker missile stuff. So I think that might just be too... I wonder. Yeah, it's not really that effective. That's just so pretty much a waste of light ammo. We're just gonna keep shooting, take them out one at a time. Take out all the night barbs so that we can safely grapple across. Alright, that's all of them. And let's just grapple across. Now there is a containment f this is a field here. Trends of control system not visible in local in, in, in local spectrum. In current visible spectrum. So just gonna use the dark visor. There's more goddamn uh, night barbs. We're just gonna take those out real quick so they don't block our shots. Come on. And that, that opens up, that re closes the barrier field and opens up this light portal. And I don't believe if we can and re go this way yet. Idiot. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Sonic security system, which we can't actually uh, use yet. So, yeah. But haha, that stupid, that idiot hunter ing just, sorry, that idiot warrior ing just, uh, just drop right in, in the middle of, it, drop right in the middle of that, of that uh, light field. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Sentry pod, any gravity thrusters online, magnetic defense shield active, appears to be holding in a holding pattern. Anyways, the only way we can go in right now is through, is over to the light world. Back to light world. There's some offline quads here. Excuse me. Oh, cut, damn it. They just appeared out of nowhere. Well, screw you guys. 
You, you guys get to lose your heads. Ow, out of my way. Ow. Ow, screw off. God damn it. Got stuck on, on his stupid legs. <clears throat> I don't care if you have legs for days. Stupid things. There, screw you guys. They just literally spawn the moment I walk, decide to walk over them. How dare they. Anyway, there's a key bearer up there. C. Rich. Was he rich? Let this, this be the final testament of Warrior C. Rich. I have no more or shells for my weapons. For the enemy, I have not but the blade and fist. Let them come. They wait in the works, hissing and slithering like beasts. Let them come. Let them. When my war cry comes, there will be a, a dread final reckoning. Come forth, hated enemy. Let there be an end. Wow, this guy sounds like he was just... He was like, I will die with honor. Anyways, moving forward. These are uh, diligent class drones. Rogue maintenance unit. Roving mechanoid with energy based attacks. Vulnerable to dark energy. Diligence drones were the first cleaning units designed by the Luminoth. They were modified for combat duty once the war began, but were outshined by the newer Harmony class units. A diligence uses focused energy beams to perform its duty. The energy construct nature makes them invulnerable to most weapons, so dark energy can disrupt them. So, really, yeah. Yeah, and that's no joke. They can just die with one, uh, <clears throat> with one dark beam shot. Anyway, these things. Mechlops. Rogue Mechanoid Triclops. Luminoth designed Mechanoid Gatherer with powerful jaws. Rem removes intruders forcibly. The Luminoth tried to domesticate and train a number of Triclops for use in the war, but failed. Undaunted, they created mechanical versions of the hardy creatures to use in battle. The few Mechlops that remain now serve other Mechanoids, turning their potent jaws and earth-moving power against their former masters. Uh, and, but we cannot get over this wall, so we're going to deal with the Mechlops by going into... Uh, going in here. And hey, guess what? Eat my bombs. Yeah, if they if they grab your bombs, they're done. Oh, but if they grab you, that it get off. Yeah, try to try to let him grab your bombs. If they grab you, uh, you he's gonna just carry you around and hurt you. So yeah. Anyways, uh, we're just gonna move on. Now this is an interesting area. Sonic security door is active. Use nearby control system. Open door and gain access to adjacent area. This is a big mach spinning machine. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is a big spinning machine. In, in other news, there's, there's, in other news, this floor is made of floor. Target is part of the main dynamo. Units unstable. Safeguards offline. Units need to be shut down manually. Main dynamo. Unstable. Needs to be shut down manually. And you can also scan the core of the dynamo. Main dynamo core. Unit unstable. Can't be destroyed with conventional weapons. A tremendous kinetic impact may damage it. Now, uh, there is this panel here. Which activates an elevator. It does not open this door. No, because the controls on the other side. We can go down here, but there's really nothing we can do right now. We're down here right now. Echo key beam system. Sonic detection gear needed to interface the system. Shoot the echo key beam emitter with a sonic pulse to activate it. We do not have the echo. We do not have an. Uh, do not have sonic detection gear or, or a sonic pulse. <coughs> And there's a lore projector that we can't access yet because we, we're too dumb. Ow. Also, it's still spinning. Careful. It hurts. 
Echo Gate use a sonic security system. Sonic detection gear, shoot the Echo Gate with a sonic pulse. We, we don't, we still, again, we don't have that. So there really is nothing we can do down here. So we're just going to head back up. And we're just going to actually just going to use this morph ball tunnel. And you can see it spins. Anyway, it's still spinning, so it can't go and just jump in that, into that. So we're just going to head out, follow the next morph ball tunnel. Which here, there is, there is a missile door that leads to a save room. And there is also bomb slot. So we're just going to use this bomb slot. It actually activates... It's a security system. Target is part of a security system. Shoot the target to, to ro rotate lens components. Orient the beams to matching frequencies. This will deactivate the, sec the security system they control. So we need to like rotate these so that, that the, the, the colors line up. So red top, middle, red on top, middle, green in the middle, blue on the bottom. It's gonna shoot these to rotate them. Yep, that's, that's in place. And there we go. So that's that's actually a pretty simple puzzle. So yeah. And there's a bomb slot. And that, that opens another bomb slot. So we're just going to activate that. No, please get in the bomb slot. Please. And that actually stops the, stops the outer ring of the main dynamo. That stops the outer ring. And bye bye bomb slot, <laughs> and it stops the main ring, which uh, which will allow us to uh, safely traverse across, which is actually where we need to go. <clears throat> but but we're gonna save that for next time because we're just gonna save, come in here and save. This is like an interesting save station. It's literally on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna go save. And we're just gonna end, end the the episode here. So, anyways, yeah, we we're, we we track through some of the sanctuary fortress. We haven't reached the temple, the the sanctuary temple yet, but we're just gonna uh, head there next time. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.